I'm gonna give you a recommendation you can refuse. Yeah, fuck. Uh, in today's episode, we will be breaking down The Offer. The Offer is a mini series on Paramount Plus right now about the very true behind the scenes story of the making of The Godfather. Uh, been getting a lot of publicity about this show. So in today's episode, we're going to dive into the mini miniseries, first four episodes streaming now, uh, and figure out if this is really worth our time or not. Uh, welcome to Films with Farrell. Enjoy the show. As always, folks, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. Stay up to date on all things Films with Farrell. Before we get started, just want to let you know, there will not be spoilers in this episode. We're just going to be talking about the offer at a very high level. This is just my recommendation on the show, so no spoilers whatsoever. Except for the spoiler of, you know, The Godfather actually being made, going on to be one of the most well-known movies in cinematic history. Uh, Brando and Pacino absolutely killing their roles. Um, but you would have already known that. So let's look at The Offer. Dubbed the greatest movie almost never made, The Offer follows the very almost non-believable story of future Oscar-winning producer Al Reddy's quest to make The Godfather. Um, absolutely unbelievable story as well. Um, so The Offer, looking at a miniseries, it's going to be 10 episodes fully in length, four episodes already out now, looking at a runtime of about an hour or so per episode. Um, Paramount Plus, it's their original content right there. Something with Paramount Plus that you might want to consider. I'd probably recommend waiting until all 10 episodes drop if this is what you want to do. They will give you a one week free subscription. So if you just want to kind of dive in for a week, watch this and then dive out uh, without really being charged, boom, that is up for you. Uh, but some great 1970s-ish nostalgia inside of this movie, between the movies that are being made, the TV shows that are being made, the actors and actresses that pop up, whether if it's on screen or off screen references, absolutely amazing. It really shows the business side of the movie industry, what it takes to get a movie from finding the script to getting people attached to it that, you know, ultimately greenlit. Um, very interesting show. So the miniseries starts off introducing our main characters, right? Al Reddy uh, is this producer, didn't start out producing movies. He started out really kind of in the tech industry. So that was kind of cool, uh, kind of, you know, went from tech to following his dreams to actually being a movie producer. Um, but you follow the story even of the author that wrote the Godfather book, right? So that's very in the beginning of the first episode. Uh, and then it kind of evolves from there. You start kind of going into each of these characters' stories. Uh, you go into the casting of Brando, the casting of Pacino, the backlash that this movie's having from Frank Sinatra. Sinatra did not want the Godfather made whatsoever. Um, it was very crazy to see Sinatra's involvement in this. Uh, the Italian Civil Rights League, um, you know, a lot of different people wanting to prevent this movie because they thought it looked bad on Italian Americans uh, from getting this movie made. It could, just because Italians were not placed in the most flattering light, it made it, they were under the impression that, it, you know, this movie was going to make it seem like every Italian was in the mafia. Uh, but very interesting, like, I had no clue about any of this. So, um, really honest thoughts. This is one of the best television shows I have ever seen. Um, and I feel like I catch a little flack for that because I just did my last episode on Severance on Apple TV, which I thought was amazing. I thought this really blew Severance out of the water. This was absolutely fantastic. Again, I like The Godfather. I'm not a huge Godfather fan, but I do like The Godfather, right? Uh, Robert De Niro and like the later ones, Al Pacino, Marlon Brando, James Caan, just to name a, a couple. I mean, it's The Godfather. To know how this got made or how mo almost it didn't get made, it's absolutely incredible. These episodes fly by, all right? An hour isn't a long time. They're dropping every Thursday. I can't wait for the next one to drop. I mean, there, there's no lag whatsoever. There's great progression. The cast, the ensemble of actors is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I just can't say enough good things about this show. I mean, you have Miles Teller as Al Ruddy. Um, again, I had no clue who Al Ruddy was. He also produced Million Dollar Baby. Uh, so he's got two actual Oscars to his name. But this is kind of his just, um, you know, coming of age story to getting this made. Uh, you have Matthew Good as Bob Evans. Bob Evans might be my favorite character in this show. Uh, I think he is the actual head of Paramount. Uh, he's fantastic with the voice, just the... The presence of Matthew Good as Bob Evans was fantastic. You have Dan Fogler uh, as Francis Ford Coppola. You have Juno Temple 
She is in uh, Ted Lasso as well right now, but she is in this. Uh, then Giovanni Ribisi. Just to name a couple. As you're watching this, you're going to see a lot more actors and actresses kind of pop off, uh, including like Colin Hanks is in there as well. But can't say enough good things about the offer, folks. If you love the making of movies, if you love real stories behind the making of movies, if you love The Godfather, if you're like, hey, how did this get made? This movie's for you. It checks every single one of my boxes. It's got some action. It's got some great story, great dialogue, great cast. If you... If you're able to get on Paramount Plus right now, check this out. Again, new episodes dropping every Thursday. We have four episodes out right now. They are flying. There is no lag in terms of setting up the players and kind of letting this thing play out. In my opinion, this is the best show I have seen in a very long time. Folks, I appreciate you making the time here. Again, we are talking about The Offer on Paramount+. Plus. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. Stay up to date on all things Films with Feral. Until next time.